What up, tubers? This is Ray from Rayware Computers since 1996, rwcweb.com. You go to rwcweb.com, put your email in that box, and I shall send you oodles and oodles of great stuff. Doing a search here, steering a little bit off the affiliate marketing website path because I had a couple questions from some of my emailees. Okay. What to sell on eBay? Let's see what the web tells us about that guy. Okay. What to sell on eBay? All right. Now, right in eBay makes selling easy. Selling policies. What do we got here? Let's see. Make this a little biggy wiggy for you guys. All right. And maybe if you're like me, export best selling item to eBay. eBay for business. Let's see what that's all about. Okay. Now, if you read my, if you watched my first two videos on eBay, I gave you the one about the vintage knives, right? If you haven't watched it, go watch them now, okay? Uh, also, about selling books, selling used books, okay? That was a good one. Now, let's see. This is an eBay site, best selling items. Now, jewelry and watches. Now, my wife and I, we got uh, our own company, Ubella's Creations, okay? And we sell, you know, to, to our following, we sell at flea markets, yard sales, okay. online, okay. Okay. Historical Society Wall. This was during the pandemic, too. If you could see, it was June 27th when I put up this video. So it was probably like the week before. Okay. And that table right there that you see, if you're doing flea markets and stuff, I want to, she's an incredible designer. Okay. See all the jewelry we make and stuff? Right? You see that table? I put an ad on Facebook with a picture of that table, and I must have had 25, 30 people come there just for us. Okay, so it was a good day. We, we certainly made a pretty good buck. We always do. In Maribel. Okay. Right, thank you. Take care now. See you now. You too. Have a great day. Bye-bye now. Straight home after that. All right, see some other ideas you get when you're selling at the flea market. I made these big images of the cube code that take them to our Facebook, take it to our website. Okay, put it there. You can just see we were pandemic ready and all. Okay. And, uh, you know, it's a great thing. You always want to do upsells. You always want to get people's information. Now, what I'm going to do this year that I didn't do over here is I'm going to send this cube code to an email opt-in page. Okay. So if you affiliate marketers out there, you like doing stuff in the real world too. This is a great way to do this. Okay. So now back to the eBay thing, best sellers on eBay. I try to stay away from electronics of any kind because, you, I mean, you can sell new. Unless you sell it new, you got a wholesaler somewhere that you can get it new, all right? Now they're just showing you basically the mainstream stuff, okay, on eBay, all right? So let's just X these two out and go back to where we were, all right? Now, this was my last video I just did, the vintage McDonald's glasses, if you saw my last video. Okay, so let me see what goes on with eBay, see if I can do it like the ClickBank. I just don't put anything in that search, okay? Now, automotive is huge. We're not selling any cars or nothing. Fashion is a second up there on eBay, okay? Men's accessories, accessories of any kind. Kids toys, you gotta kinda watch, okay? Uh, now, DVDs and Blu-ray discs. Let's go check this one out. Now, I was just getting curious about this, and what I'm gonna do is, uh, I probably got two bins, those plastic bins, full of DVDs. Now, I haven't used them in probably three or four years now because we stream everything live to the television. 
Okay, so let's do DVD movies, right? All right, so now they got some modern stuff here because the newer movies, look at this, DVD sale pack, your movie lot of 300, what? What? Come on, DVD sale pack. I got to just take a look at this. It's been a while since I, I did this. I actually never sold DVDs on, on eBay because I was using them. All right, so there's not a big market on them. Obviously not, because nobody's using them anymore. Okay. Whew. Incredible. Now, this is your guy. VHSs. Okay. VHS VCR video tape. Let's search the net for that. Okay. Still on Amazon. Okay. Let's see. Why people still buy these? It's got to be collectors. Got to be collectors. You know. Ton of stuff comes up on eBay. Right. But Canada. That's a rough ticket, man. Now, of course, they're all going to be used. <laughs> I don't even know why I put that. I don't even know why I put that in there. Look, they even sell it in the Facebook Marketplace. Now, Facebook Marketplace—that's a good way to do research as well. I don't really like the Facebook Marketplace. You know, for fluffy items, let me try something. The only way uh, a platform like this would be good. All right, now if people are selling them, which is a lot, let me put in vintage. Now with most things, you want to put in vintage. Of course, not with the VCR tapes because they, <laughs> it's only ours, vintage. So let's see what's going on eBay. I mean, uh, Facebook, excuse me. Now, there's not too many. These are kind of cool. $60. Those are, see, this ain't even American. I could tell just by looking at it. These are modern. Okay. So, and what it is, is I don't think we could really... So you really can't get into too much detail on how to look them up. So you're going to get everything that pertains to the, that word. Okay. You're going to get everything. Now some of these, this, it doesn't look like a very good market for the traditional pocket, knife, pocket knives that I was telling you about in my last video. Okay. So let's, let's try and narrow our search one last time. So this may be a good avenue to sell American vintage pocket knives is on eBay Marketplace. Okay, and you would definitely see the problem is you're only going to sell, you know, like, I mean, it's hard because they got only individual places like Craigslist. So it might be a good place to do research, but eBay is the monster of it. Okay, so now another great idea of these vintage VCRs. Okay, now you're going to need a VCR player. Okay, well, let's just do vintage. Okay, so now we got a lot of stuff. United States. A lot of vintage clothing. All right, so if you got an eye for vintage clothing, I would say go for it. Look at Wonder Bread. That's awesome for 12 bucks. Okay, plus the shipping. 
a lot of vintage closing. Now, let's see if we can get out of that. Should be able to narrow the search down. Okay. Uh, well, let's go to the sold items, our little trick we do with the sold items and see what's going on. Woo! Over a million. Now, watches are big. Vintage watches are big, big. I know that. You know, look at the price they sold that one for, 150 bucks. Okay, and again, you go to these flea markets and these yard sales, okay? A lot of unusual, eclectic items, okay, such as this guy. I don't know what the freak that is, okay? But now the secret, the secret, whew, talking a million items. The secret item I want to show you today is this. You ready? Drum roll. Vintage lighters. And this is a great contrast because it's really a guide thing. No offense to any women. It's really a guide thing. Okay. These are the sold items. Now, there's only been 8,000 sold. Okay, now, some of this, that don't look too vintage, but, now that was another thing I used to collect when I was a kid. I used to collect lighters, and I used to make lighters. Now, if you go to a flea market, you find a Zippo, anything, even if they want to charge you 25 bucks for it, grab it. Okay, because, like, these lighters like this, guys love these lighters, and usually, even if they're all beat up, because you could still open them up and change the wick and change the cotton in it, change the flint in it, okay? All right, look at the Mexican flag on one, 27 bucks. Okay, buy it now, $4 shipping. That was sold. That's pretty hot lighter. Okay, these ones here, that, that's not really a vintage lighter. They put that in there in 1996. I'd be, I'd be surprised if that was really made in 1996. But they call it vintage now, and I'm forgetting what year it is, too. Anything 20 years, okay? So it's really not vintage. It has to be 20 years, right? So 1996 to what? 2006 to 2026, right? And am I doing the math correctly on that? Or 2016, maybe. All right, so maybe it is vintage. Yeah, it's got to be 20 years old. Okay? It's got to be 20 years old to be vintage. 78. Look at that guy. Alright, so lighters are huge. Now, I had a couple of these lighters that they came out with in the 70s. Alright, let me show you another, another jewel to search for. Okay. Vintage pipe lighters. <laughs> 14 bucks. Oh, there's the one. Hang on. Let me go back. I had these guys. Okay. Let me open it in a new tab. Look, it's sold. All right. Yeah, I'm in the sold mode. I'm going to get a better picture of it. I had these, we used to call them the screw lighters, because they look like a screw. I wish I could show you how, how it opened up. This poor guy got, see, he undersold himself here on six bids. He put it up for a bid. Okay. Now, you got to remember the auctions. It's rough, the auctions, because, you know, if people don't bid on it, he, he might have had bad pictures of it. Okay. But the ones like this that I know is going to sell, I put the price on it. The other vintage knives, and then what you got to do is you got to start out. Like if I get one of these lighters, uh, you know, if I if I get one of these lighters, oh look, this one came in the box too. That's the way mine were. If I get one of these lighters and I either got it for free or I bought it in the seventies for ten bucks, you know, I'm going to start the bidding at ten bucks if I'm going to do the bidding. You know, this one's pretty unique. I wonder what that looked like. 
All right, so let's get off of the sold mode and see what happens here. Okay, and this is a good thing too. There's only 516 pipe lighters. Well, that ain't a pipe light. I don't know what that is. It's a bracelet. Why did that come up there? Somebody's probably advertising. All right, so a pipe lighter is a little different than a regular lighter. You see these screw lighters. This one's been through hell. Still wants 38 bucks for the two of them. Okay. These flint lighters, man, they're fantastic. They're not only durable, very efficient lighters, they last forever because you could still use them. That's interesting. <laughs> pipe lighter in the shape of a pipe. Actually, you probably just take that out and stuff the pipe and do both with it. That's genius. They don't make nothing like they used to. I'll tell you, talk about conformity. Everything in the old days was conformity. You know? So this video is getting a little long. So this is the gem. Okay? Pipe lighters. It's the eBay gem for this video. Alright, kids? Let's see where we're at here. We're all over the vintage stuff. Book stuff. Now this is Ray, from Rayware Computers, since 1996. Got a little off the beaten path with the affiliate websites. But if you go to rwcweb.com, put your best email in that box right there, and I shall send you oodles and oodles of great stuff, free stuff, ideas on how to do your affiliate stuff, ideas, great ideas, how to do your eBay, how to do a side hustle. Doing these side hustle videos because people was asking me some questions. Take care. Oh, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay? My buddy Charlie, he gets upset when you guys don't do that. All right? Where's my buddy Charlie? Charlie has left the building. Take care.